Hi everyone, welcome back to the Web3 channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at Shiba Inu launching a beta version of a decentralized autonomous organization to give users more authority over crypto projects. The Dogecoin rival is aiming to provide its users with more control over crypto projects and peers on the Shiba Swap platform. So let's dive into this. Shiba Inu has launched a beta version of a DAO to give users more authority to decide on crypto projects and peers on the Shiba Swap platform according to a blog, a blog post which we will have a look at in this video. The Dogecoin rival will release Doggy DAO in a stage by stage metric and phase approach. The first phase called DAO1 will be implemented within the next few days. The DAO1 phase will focus on providing immediate power to the community to decide which crypto projects and peers on the Shiba Swap woof pools will be and and how the bone rewards allocation points are to be distributed amongst them. The DAO will use T-Bone for voting rights, which is a new staking contract to lock bone for a longer period of time before voting begins. Once the first phase is complete using community feedback, Shiba Inu will release a newer version called DAO2 to allow the community to make general proposals, so a generic proposals for consideration or review by a multi-sig team and breed according to the blog the Shiba Inu noted to avoid possible whales controlling the voting process, the Guardian 6-9 wallet will have final say on whether a pair should be listed or not to ensure no one is truly gaining the system. On December 22nd, Shiba Inu's price spiked at a wealth as to the existing positions, with one wallet buying nearly $134 million worth of token. Let's have a quick look at that quick whale situation there. Shiba Inu spiking as whales add to existing positions. A single wallet purchased nearly $134 million worth of Shiba Inu tokens. Wallet trackers show here we have, of course, a few Shiba Inu dogs. Prices of Shiba Inu saw a 10% spike on Tuesday as whales, a colloquial term for large holder holders, of course. One such whale wallet purchased $4 trillion, uh, 4 trillion Shiba Inus for $134 million early on Tuesday, according to data from Whale Stats, which tracks data. The wallet now holds more than $144 million worth of Shiba Inu, which makes up for 26% of its portfolio holdings in Ethereum-based tokens, Metaverse tokens, Sandbox, and Gala, which make up another $122 million of the wallet's $500 million total value held in ERC-20 tokens, with the rest scattered between tethered stable coins and altcoins like Arctic engine and loop ring. So of course that has an effect on the price which we can see right here. But let's go over to the Doggy Dow blog post that I think is most important here. Doggy Dow is here worth. We believe in reducing the level of accountability that our team must place in each other and deterring from the ab ability to exert authority control over certain areas. This is in order to broadcast the capacity of community-oriented decisions in ways that can accelerate the growth of Shiba Inu, a true essence for de decentralization. Doggy Dow. SHIB continues its original mission, always working towards decentralization. Doggy DAO will be released in a stage-by-stage -stage metric and phased approach. This allows the community to understand what are the needs and requirements of the project while also attending to the possibilities that this ecosystem brings to our community. The nail that sticks out is struck, i.e. a Japanese, a Japanese Proverb. For any of our releases, our belief system always targets a smooth transition that keeps things secure, balanced, and stable, not just on the project side, but on the final user experience while reviewing the impact it will have in its process. So, the first phase of Doggy DAO. We are happy to announce and share with you the first phase called DAO 1 in beta. DAO 1 is focused on providing immediate power to the community in order to decide which crypto projects and peers on the Shiba Swap woof pools will be and how the bone rewards are to be distributed amongst them. Before we go any further, make sure to subscribe to Web3 for everything happening. It really helps out a lot. But with that being said, continuing on, this is a crucial first step, orienting our decentralized exchange to grow while promoting all benefits to the Shiba army from such peers and welcoming new investors to use the platform. Through the newly community voting system, users will be available to sorry will be able to distribute their voting power when holding T-Bone, the staked form of Bone, into their preferred projects in order to effectively challenge the following. Make those projects available in our official polls. Choose who will sorry choose how these will affect the APs that will decide the amount of Bone the payers will receive as rewards. Encouraging the system the systemic systematic, sorry, DAO method to be achieved by a fully decentralized community process. This is a power tool as the rewards and liquidity pools will be decided fully by the users. This avoids the developers from making those very choices. The responsibility falls on the community and what they want to experience within the platform. Therefore, from this point forward and all projects that want to form part of our WOOF pools will need to be decided by community voting. 
Digging deeper into how it all works, there will be a list of the top 50 liquidity volume pairs from ShibaSwap and each user can weigh their important votes into the project or projects they are interested in. This tool will motivate and allow external projects and their developers to provide liquidity for their token pairs while aiding ShibaSwap to continuously increase its utility and volume. A spectrum of constant evolution and growth for our great decentralized exchange. Furthermore, in order to cast a vote to list projects, users must take their bone to get T bone, also distributing their amount of choice to weigh in and provide to that very peer. The more they weigh in, the more votes a project achieves, the more AP it will have. You can see how this will be extremely beneficial, but also very fun and exciting. Projects will be competing for your votes, meaning they will want to make things attractive for Sheep ecosystem holders. What happens next? On the following Monday after launch, APs and peers will be determined depending on the results of the voting process, and totaling 30 peers as a maximum will be executed and processed to appear in the wolf pools. Pardon me. The executed peers will be showcased for a period of 14 days and their APs will remain there until the next voting occurs and finishes. The week before the expiry date, voting will begin once again. A batch of new peers or awards will be decided and selected by the community. It will continue and the loop will once again begin. This is why we selected a phase approach, broadcast our first very first test and the main reason we've decided to call it a beta version. Once this version starts running, we will, con we will receive the proper community feedback while also observing the workflow closely to make sure our community finds the system easy to use, secure, and fair. A newer version then will be released with improved use cases of Bone, T-Bone tokens, adding more complexity to the DAO system. At the system, sorry, at the same time, we'll be introducing new faces of the, every system through the same screen. This is what we call DAO2, which will be a system that allows the community to make generic proposals to be considered or reviewed by our multi-sig team and breeds. Another big question is how we have thought of defending the behavior of possible whales entering to make choices and take advantage of the process. The Guardian 69 wallet would have the final call to whether the pair should be listed or not, so in order to review the process to key in the factor of someone truly gaming the system. We will work directly with the defense and the currency's breed in order to construct measures to avoid such actions. This DAO is in beta and will be using T-Bone for voting rights. As we observe the behavior in the first two rounds, we will be using a brand new staking contract to unlock Bone for a longer period of time before the voting begins, which doesn't stop whales and exchanges from entering, but can certainly help mitigate at a higher level. The system is going to be implemented in the next few days. Stay tuned. Also, in case you think that's all, you should wait for a big surprise we have prepared. Woof. Awesome. So that, of course, is the Shiba Swap website blog going over the doggy DAO being here. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to Web3 for everything happening in this space. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next Web3 video.